up guys showing you my young zins this deck is ridiculous um it's very competitive i consider this deck to be tier one <clears throat> um basically my play style is similar to cyframes um, i stun my opponent with tons of back row and then synchro on his turn of course doing stuff like boxia trishula black rose to take his opponent stop him in the middle of his tracks and prevent him from getting an advantage or field presence basically your opponent will try to do something and then you'll chain your yang zen uh swanee's effect for example and then he'll veiler that then you'll chain pull out's effect and he'll finish that then you'll chain another one's effect synchro make back to you, shuffle his field and then he just passes turn and you know you just otk after that so this i love this deck i'm sorry it's just it's too broken and it's clutch that you can synchro whenever you want pretty much it's an immediate quick effect any phase whenever you want uh, triple light um this guy i run him at three because he also revives his own self it's just incredible the fact that he's special summons himself in the graveyard like that's just ridiculous uh three darkness this guy actually has a, a wombo combo the first one is the first turn baxia with herald arc of light but you can also use his effect um discard per se two ch do you use y'all to discard two chai wins special summon these guys and then you can synchro with those two, Black Rose, destroy him. And then you special summon him from deck, special summon Chai Win from grave, attack for 19, synchro, and then poke for 28. It's just a way to clear the board, apply pressure, and heavy damage at the same time. So it's like, I'm just trying to show you an example of how this deck is It's competitive. It's, man, I'm telling you. It's a trolley deck in a way, but it's also explosive and it can OTK. And Jiao Tu is like, he's the best boy in the first turn. Because um, Yang Zins, unless you're going against a deck that just destroys a lot, they have a hard time getting their synchro plays going. Um, I think the reason is because they can make one synchro that's literally invincible. And you don't ever have to synchro summon again. You can synchro summon one time a duel if you want to. Uh, three water. Um, this guy is retarded. Light and darkness are broken. They're the tuners and they have broken effects. But this guy's broken because you make your guys immune to skill drain and then just walk around skill drain. And you have a Yazi that's invincible. Or you can just make Chao Fang. But either way, you just want to make your guys unaffected by traps. That way, your opponent is just setting back row that just can't be used. So he's just wasting his. He's wasting cards. Uh, double fire. Um, it's pretty fun to make a beater that's immune to traps, so you can just attack right over back row and monsters freely. Um, double Earth. This guy, is he's really important because you want to make your synchros immune to being destroyed by battle. Um, the, the most invincible synchro I've ever made was a Chao Fang that couldn't be destroyed by battle. He's unaffected by spells and traps. And he, he, uh, it's like, think of it this way. He's skill draining your opponent. Your opponent can't kill him with monster effects. Can't kill him with battle, spell, or traps. So how can you kill him? He's invincible. Um, one win. This guy just to make you guys invincible. Um, the shadow. He's 25. He's 2200 beater and he's level 5. And sometimes you could just special summon him with your back row and just play beat down with shadow. So he's pretty cool. Uh, triple path. It's really important because I only ran 15 Yang Gens. Uh, triple creation and never misses timing. It's just it's so broke. It's a deck in it. Uh, triple black one. Um, also this is max rarity. Well, I run a common skill drain, but everything else is hollowed out in this deck. Uh, triple mirror force. Double nightmare. Double void. Time space. Bottomless. Pulse. Deep prison. Solemn warning. Torrential. Starlight Road, cause Twin Twisters, it's too easy. Um, it's like candy from a baby. The one finish, cause it does target, so sometimes it's not all that, but it can save your life from Trishula. Um, Call of the Haunted, Vanities, and like I said, I do run one comic. It's a 42 card deck. I'm gonna get an ulti skill drain though, for sure. So. Um, I don't know how many traps that is, but basically you hard draw traps because the Yang Zin special summon themselves in the deck. So you thin your deck completely for monsters, and you just literally just hard draw traps. Every card you draw is a trap. Basically, that's how it works. You just draw traps. That's it. Uh, triple Baxia. Some games, I'll just make three of him, and that's it. It's just, he's the first guy I make, because he clears fields. He can end game. He also makes the synchros happen faster. 
Black Widow's Trisha Love. These five synchros are the ones I make more than often because, like I told you, my play style is to synchro on your turn and troll you with my traps. Uh, Chao Fang, Double Yazi. You can get two of these guys on the field, and then both of them are invincible. BLs, Spark to protect Skill Drain, Vanity's Emptiness, stuff like that. Stardust, Goyle, Armadis, Arc, um, Fog King, Thunder, Thunder King, I'm a Fire and an Earth. Fog King is for like Monarchs and Mage Spectres. Uh, double MST, Double Dark Hole, yeah, you saw. You was like, where's the MSTs? Uh, Rageki, I don't do Twin Twisters because Starlight Road is kind of a thing now. Prana is the most broken card I've ever